Hi, welcome to this video on using recipes with CCW and the Panovi 800. Now here I'll show you a video demonstration on creating recipes, how it interacts with the HMI, and it can also be considered as a basic guide to refer to. Now I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with CCW, or at least have some basic knowledge in uh, setting up a project and maybe you've done a little bit of ladder logic in it before. Um, but here we've got a pre-made project. I'm going to run uh, through what went on in it. So the first things to consider are what are the actual tags that you want to be involved in the recipe. So in CCW they have to be global variables or controller tags um, in order to map them to HMI tags. So I've got embedded IO here from my Micro850 controller. It can be other controllers like Micrologics or Compilogics. Um, and you can also create your own tags as long as they're global variables. So let's go into the HMI settings here, make sure we've added our PLC, got the correct IP address, select the right communications protocol, so I'm using Ethernet IP. And then we can go to the HMI tags here. So I've got lights 1 to 9 here, the correct data type selected, the address is the, uh, the controller tags or global variables, and it knows it's PLC1. So I'll show you how you do it, just click add there, you change the name, change all this stuff and it brings up a variable selector when you click them, the three dots. Okay, so how do you actually create the recipes? So you go on to recipes, create recipe. There's a few settings here, like name, the status tag, which depending on the value of it, it changes, uh, indicates a different status. Um, and more about that can be found in the documentation. You can add ingredients to it, uh, name, tag, which are the HMI tags, data type, numerical or string if you want characters, you put min or max value and this is the current or initial value which is the important one. So here I've got a, a very basic demo so it's just the same stuff uh, with just differing values for light and indicator here. Now we can go into actually creating the display. So the main components that you need is recipe selector, your recipe table or your ingredients table, and then numerous amounts of keys, which uh, are used to navigate, navigate the recipe selector and the recipe table. So to add them, you just go into toolbox here and add the preferred one. So you've got key here. Uh, we've got recipe selector, recipe table there as well. Uh, you've got recipe download, restore, save and upload, which are these four. We'll get into these for a little bit later when we're in the VNC viewer. Um, but for the selector and the table, there's not a whole lot that you need to do to it other than changing the design if you want to. Uh, as for the keys, yeah, select one of them there. You do need a, a link target, which is just the name you want it to, of, of the thing that you're trying to control. So this one is controlling the recipe table two, which is this as are these ones. Um, and you can select a different key type. So it's multifunctional, up, down, page up, down, home, or whatever you need it to be. So I've just got up, down, enter here. And as for these ones, you can see link target is different. It's for recipe selector too there. Okay, uh, now let's jump into the VNC viewer and actually see um, it interacting with the HMI. So this is why the keys are important. So on the touch screen, you can actually tap these, but you still need to click enter. So if I go on off, enter. Now, what does the restore button do? If I click restore, it will restore the recipe into the ingredients table. And then you can view what's actually in it. If I click, let's go on pattern one actually, restore that. So pattern one's restored, you can see the recipe values of pattern one is different to what's currently active. So the currently active one is off. If I download that, then you can see the currently active values have changed. It's now the same as what's in pattern one. So if I go into lights, this is what pattern one looks like. Let's show you a different one. Let's show you pattern two. If I download pattern two, Actually, let's restore it again just to show the, show the differences. Pattern 2 is uh, 
Oh, it's already downloaded. Okay, so pattern two is this. Four lights, which is different to pattern one. Um, pattern three. Yeah, the recipe values for pattern three are different to what's in for pattern two, of course. Now, for upload, that will be the opposite of using the download function where you're downloading to make it the active recipe. You're for for upload, you're taking what's currently in, um, currently active. Let's go on off just because it's easier to show. So the currently active recipe is pattern two. If we click upload after having off selected, you're going to upload that to off. So it's actually going to overwrite the off recipe with the pattern two recipe. Now it's showing current recipe pattern two because this is actually related to that indicator tag that I made uh, um, before that you might have seen. Now what indicator does, it's just something I made um, depending on the value, it's gonna show different text. So right now we've got off downloaded, but it's still saying pattern two. And that's because we uploaded pattern two and it's changed it value to two here. So we can change this in runtime. This is what these buttons are for now, up and down. And then you can click enter there. And let's just change that back to zero. And then important, thing to do is you need to save that change so click save and then now if I click download yeah indicator is now zero so now it's indicating off but it's still showing pattern two, the actual light pattern now the last thing is you can make changes to the the recipe names as well in your HMI so or the Panavate 800 you navigate to the application click on recipe edit recipe and then you can uh, change the names you just click on this change name but you can't do that during runtime so that's what you can't do during runtime and that's the end of it that sums up the sort of basic steps on creating a recipe in CCW and using it with Panavi 800